You guys want to program? Oh, sure, I'll take a look. Yeah. You see, about five years ago, you're walking along, minding your own business, when this guy comes along and he's like, hey, you want to buy a coat? He said, but no, no, this coat is magical. All right, it'll make you able to heal people. You'll be able to stomp out disease and pestilence. And look how gleamingly white it is. <laughs> so you had to buy that coat. So, and you got here, and then at your white coat ceremony, you put your short coat on for the first time, you know, and then you added, and you dutifully added this mandatory accessory, a brand new stethoscope, deliberately but casually donned, just so, so that you were ready at a moment's notice, coiled to auscultate. And then a few years of misery ensued, and here we are today. Four years ago, these men and women took a leap of faith. They ventured into the unknown and matriculated at an untested, unaccredited, and unknown osteopathic medical school in Idaho. Again, we welcome you to this historic first ever commencement of the Idaho College of Osteopathic Medicine. Seated with me, thank you. Welcome, and thank you all for being here to celebrate with us today. I wanted to take a moment of reflection and gratitude as we begin the ceremony. For many, this journey from acceptance to graduation represents a series of answered prayers, goals, and dreams. So pumped. Yeah, I'm stoked. Yeah, ready to be done. Now, speaking of memorable moments, you were here four years ago, do you remember? First class of ICO, right? You were here at the ribbon cutting when we cut the ribbon on this brand new Idaho College of Medicine. You were rips recipients, guinea pigs really, of, of Idaho's first lectures, first examinations, first anatomy labs, first OSCE exams, first simulation experiences. You were the subjects of the college's first ever white coat ceremony. You were the first participants from this college in the national residency match. And today, you are the subject of our attention and our affection as the first ever graduates of this Idaho College of Osteopathic Medicine. And so to you students, all of you, know it or not, you're risk takers, you are leaders, you are pioneers, and through your leadership, academic performance, and absolute professionalism. You've paved a path that countless other students will follow. To you, we thank you, we salute you, you precious young students, and we congratulate you. One big round of applause. ICOM class of 2022, you are graduating from a fully accredited medical school that you helped to create. And to my faculty and staff assembled here in the Morrison Center, I could not be more proud to work with each and every one of you. We all did this together. Congratulations. In this life, we measure time in minutes, but we measure life in moments. And so today, let's capture this moment. Let's celebrate this majestic moment of your, of your graduation of the Idaho College of Osteopathic Medicine. You've come a long way in your professional identity formation, and today you become a doctor. At the end of this ceremony, you will have a new name, no longer Mr. or Miss or Mrs., but Doctor. That title carries with it a high level of respect and also the weight of responsibility. As a physician, you will always center your focus on the health and well being of your patients and the communities we serve. Your knowledge and skills, coupled with your empathy and compassion, has the power to change countless lives, to transform lives. My dear friends, by the authority vested in me and in your dean, by the Board of Trustees of the Idaho College of Osteopathic Medicine, I confer upon each of you the degree of Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine as recommended 
by the ICOM faculty and your dean of this great college. Accordingly, you're now entitled to all of the rights, privileges, and obligations which pertain to this degree of doctor of osteopathic medicine. Congratulations, student graduates. Anyway, what's about to happen today is that you're gonna walk across the stage, receive your diploma, shake a few hands, uh, get hooded, and then chop, chop, chop. We got a lot of people to get through. All right. But don't chop, chop too quickly. Because unlike many ceremonial walks, this one actually changes who you are. For real. It's not like the other walks. You hit the floor upon leaving stage right, you are a doctor, like Dean Moore said. Who feels like getting a degree today? Dr. David Basso. We are privileged to have 12 students, 12 scholars, HPSP scholars in this graduating class who have chosen to accept service to this country as part of their educational path to becoming physicians. I would like to take a moment to have these 12 officers stand as we thank them for their future and current service to this country. So thank you for everything that you've done to make ICOM what it is. Thank you for putting in all the effort, not just to better yourselves and to become physicians, but to do that at the same time as helping us to become a medical school. Um, and we couldn't have done it without you. Um, you, are, uh, you are at the very core of who we are at ICOM. So thank you. Thank you so much. And today, it is with great honor that you will be granted the title of doctor. You have made our school proud, and I ask that as you pursue your careers, and you content, that you continue to bring honor to our school and our profession by being the most caring and compassionate physicians you can be, by providing your patients with the best possible care. Um, I like the mission statement of ICOM. Um, I'm interested in um, the rural uh, medicine, so I hope to one day practice in the rural environment. And ICOM's mission uh, was to practice in rural Idaho and beyond, and I hope to achieve that one day. Uh, a lot, feeling a lot of things. Really happy, grateful, excited, emotional. Yeah, it's uh, it's been really, I want to say four years, but it's been a long, long, long time, a lot of work. Very, but oh, grateful for my family, my friends, the faculty, the entire family of ICOM. Yeah, a lot of things. So. All, all I want to say to you students is, uh, doctors, excuse me, what a faux pas. Uh, I never walked into a room where there were 140 more doctors in there after I walked out. But, uh, uh, I uh, remember what you heard here today. Remember your oath. Remember your obligation to your parents. I can tell by the look on your faces when you came across the stage that there's no doubt that that will happen. Congratulations very much. The single most important influence in the world is love. Think of it, think of that. Love is the most powerful influence in the world. Now we live in a very broken, polarized world that is hurting. We need people that can show a little more love, a little more affection, a little more understanding, a little more caring, a little more listening. And so as you put your service together to the benefit of our fellow human beings, you'll be expressing love through that great service. I vividly recall our orientation week filled with you know, funny video introductions, contagious laughs, genuine smiles. With no upperclassmen, we each work together to start laying the foundation of our next four years. 
We declared as our class motto, beginning a legacy, diverse in origin, together we care. Looking back now, I'd say we certainly manifested our future. Sure, we faced obstacles over the years, but it was in these times that we shine brightest. I, I gotta tell you to our graduates, we're gonna miss you guys. We really are. And you will always be special to us as the inaugural class.